Hello once again, and I'm Mungesh, and today I'm going to cover. Uh, let's continue with joins because in previous video we have learned what is a equi join, what is a non equi join, what is a outer join. We have seen those example, and uh, in this video I'm continuing with self join and natural joins. Uh, these are the two more types of joins. Okay, so let's jump to my uh, Excel sheet. Uh, what is a self join? Self join means you can join that table to itself only, like. Uh, this is what my table select star from EMP and uh, what kind of output I required in my company 101 Mangesh his salary is 9000 his manager is 103 now who is 103 Rajesh is 103 so in short Mangesh is reporting to Rajesh Mangesh manager is Rajesh Rajesh is reporting to 104 104 is Manoj means Rajesh is reporting to Manoj Rajesh manager is Manoj so here you can see uh, their employee uh, manager ID to who, who is reporting to whom so in the output what I required Mangesh is a employee and he is reporting to the Rajesh so he is a EMP he is a manager in the in this way I required the output so what I need to do I need to uh, same way I need to join employees table to employees only okay and uh, this is only the details who are the manager in that company this is not a table we need to take in the picture it's only information i have put here for the reference only uh, i am deleting it for now and you got it what kind of output you required so what only one table is there that table to join itself only to get the your output so similarly i'm writing down one sql query here select this is what my select statement I want employee name column e. so let me give table analysis as a e and uh, column name is EMP name that I required and uh, I'm giving table analysis as a EMP because in the output I required this name as for column this is a table analysis guys and this is a column analysis second column I required uh, same column I required but I'm giving as a M EMP underscore name as MGR okay so next in from statement what I'm going to do same table EMP table as a E join to itself EMP as uh, I will put as a M okay and in on I will give similar condition like equijoin look at the condition now E dot EMP underscore ID is equal to M dot MGR ID finish so what we'll do here uh, this manager ID column uh, I, I will write down first because manager ID column it will match with the employee ID and uh, then your output will return in the output so 103 103 Rajesh will come in the picture like this then uh, next we have a Santosh who, who is a manager of Santosh Santosh manager is 103 again again Rajesh will come in the picture why because Santosh uh, is also reporting to 103 Rajesh Rajesh is reporting to 104 then uh, Rajesh name will come here again and uh, Rajesh is reporting to 104 so 104 is Manoj Manoj will come here next we have a Manoj here and Manoj is reporting to 105 that is Ram so Ram will come here as a Manoj manager but Ram is also reporting to someone Ram is reporting to whom 108 and that 108 is a Ramesh so I will put Ramesh name in the manager now Ramesh is a manager of three more people whom Sham and Suresh Sham and Suresh also reporting to Ramesh so in this way then uh, Ramesh is reporting to 109 so Ramesh name will come here and 109 is uh, Amol Amol is reporting to 1010 so Amol is reporting to Ram okay so in this way Ram is uh, he, here we have a null value null is not equal to null null will not uh, uh, it will it will not come in the picture then uh, look at my output all employees details are here except that Raj and their manager details are here 
and what I have done I have joined employee table to itself only so to perform that action self join will come in the picture okay so definition of self join is what joining table to itself okay and after that one of the easiest way of joins we need to learn here there we don't need to use any kind of table analysis so natural natural join is one of the best and easiest way it will give the same output like uh, equijoin so let me have same table like equijoin uh, copy paste okay so here uh, uh, let me put uh, department uh, this table again here similar uh, output you will get from this table also i think there is some problem over here let me take the similar data from my equijoin copy paste Uh, here my table is hide actually column is hide that's the reason okay now it looks good uh, hide this one okay now see I, I have EMP table and this is what my DEPT table huh, guys DEPT table and uh, I wanted to know the same thing like equijoints that uh, Mangesh department ad is 10 he is working for PSG. He is working in Pune. Santosh, department ID is 20. He is working for Ops, Mumbai. Same output I required, but I don't want to use that equality operator on condition. So what you need to do here? Whatever columns you required in the output, that you need to put in your select select statement. Yeah. Uh, let me increase the font size from here. I'll make it to 24. Okay. and in output what I required is this I don't like this so I have taken EMP underscore ID then uh, comma EMP underscore name from first table DEPT ID then uh, DEPT underscore name and last column is a location so I have taken uh, one two three four five five columns in select statement and these are the co combination of these two tables okay so first what you need to do from in from statement I'm using my first table is EMP and here I'm using that natural join keyword natural join my second table is DEPT okay so what this natural join keyword will do it will automatically find out one equal column in both table which has same name and same data type like this this table has same name and same data type and based on that you'll get the same output like equijoins only the uh, way of writing the query is different in equijoin you are using on clause here we don't need to use on clause we will only use this keyword and that keyword will automatically find out one equal column in both table and you'll get your output after that you can use your where clause also to filter out the records okay so similar output what output you have received here same output you'll get here also and the records which are equal in both table same will come in the here okay let me add one more column here dept id again again i have fresh six columns and six columns came in the output as well look at this this three column of my first table this three column of my second table with the help of natural joins this output will come in the picture okay so here we don't need to give any kind of condition like on uh, similar way there is a one using keyword is also there in the picture with the help of that also you'll get the same output so only the thing is writing query is a uh, different here you are using natural keyword uh, in equation you can use on and another is a using keyword also there where you can move, mention that uh, which is a equal column in both table with the help of that you'll get the similar output so it's up to you which conditions you need to use 
and uh, I'll show you some practical example on my database also. So, so we'll go with this uh, uh, natural joins because uh, it's very easiest way of the join. So I'm opening my PDF in my PDF. Okay, so natural joins, they have given the definition about the natural joins here. Uh, you can join two tables automatically based on the column in the two tables that have matching data types and name. And you can do this with the keyword that is natural join. Uh, they have given one example here on the screen. They want department ID, department name, location ID, city. These four columns from departments, natural joins, location. First table is departments, second table is natural joins so let me take the same query and i want to execute it on my database so i'm executing this and i'm getting the output also so these four columns i have fresh now you can see what kind of information available in your location table also select star from locations okay. under location you can see your location id which is common between these two tables, huh? uh, departments under departments also you can see location ID column. Okay, because what it has been done here in this query, we have a location ID common in both table with the help of that uh, you got your output actually. That's the reason they have highlighted here location ID is a common column in both table and uh, natural joins has picked that column and the, it fetched their output also. Now. With the help of using clause also you'll get the same similar output uh, that example is available in the next page uh, let me show you that also here uh, now uh, here uh, i'm reading this sql query uh, they are trying to join employees table with departments okay so they have not used column analysis though they have put employees dot employee id means it's a column of employees table again employees dot last name departments dot location id and department id why they have not given anything because it is a common column in both table here they have joined these two tables and in using clause they have used department id so let me use say similar query on my uh, database and i'll get the output so department id is a common column in both table and they have taken the these columns from first tables this column from the second table and records got fresh here uh, in equijoins we can use on clause here in equijoins and instead of this you can use table analysis also for table analysis they have given one more example on the next page that i would like to show you here similar query but they have used table analysis select e dot employee id e dot last name d dot department id department id from employees e whatever shortcuts name you will mention in the select statements that you need to define in the from statement as well so uh, departments d using department similar query but they have used only table analysis here that's it in another one they have given the actual example of equijoins where they have used on clause so this is what the example is uh, let me take this example on the DB. I'm executing the similar query. E dot employee ID, E dot last name, E dot department ID. This is a column of first tables. D dot department ID, D dot location ID. Let me take one more column that is D dot department underscore name. Then uh, here they have joined these two tables employees E departments D in on condition. This is what the my on conditions equation condition. Now let me execute this one. You can see my output this three column of first table this three column of the second table and you can see the rows which are equal in both table only those will get fresh. The rows which is not equal in both table those are not coming. So you can use here full outer join. So it will take all the equal record also and non-equal record as well. See, uh, there is a null grant record is also come in the picture. In previous uh, execution, this record was not fresh, 178. Now let's go down here. There are n number of uh, so people uh, not here. See, these are the department's information available, but uh, no one is working in those departments. 
so that records you got it in a full outer join you can mention here write in write r i g s t in writer write outer join you'll get the information about the second table it is here second table no. in left you'll get the information about only first now this record will not come which i highlighted just now see in the output you will not see that table but grant will come here at the last so we have just done uh, some execution about the equijoin non equijoin and uh, outer join as well so similar do practice at your end and uh, here we have already covered which are the joins and in previous chapter previous video also we have covered few joins chapter so just go through it and uh, let's see you in next video where i'll uh, start with uh, another statement like uh, in previous video we are starting learning on only select one now dml statement will come in the picture and we will start working on that insert update delete merge now we will learn how to modify this table how to insert record into this table that we will cover in the next video we will try and create one basic table under that table we will start adding the rows removing the rows and updating the values into a table and those videos will uh, come in the picture soon so thanks for watching this video see you soon bye